Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to be making Harry Potter's 11th birthday cake. So this is the cake Hagrid made for Harry on his 11th birthday. Hey, the taste tester, you all know him, you all love him. He, um, it's his 11th birthday, so I'm going to make him uh, a Harry Potter cake. Um, because he is a huge Harry Potter fan, plus it's his 11th birthday. So let's get started. To make this cake, you are going to need Claire's cookbook dessert person. Uh, Claire's half it. Um, I've made tons of her recipes already. Um, he has a chocolate buttermilk cake, but I am veganizing it and Harry Potterizing it. I'm not using the icing. I'm going to make a buttercream icing. To make this recipe, you are going to need a large bowl. You're going to put in some flour baking powder, kosher salt. Now we're gonna whisk this together. I wonder where, I wonder if Hagrid made up that recipe he gave to Harry. Okay, that's all missed. Now we're just gonna set this aside. Cause we can't set it aside cause you see, that's like a metaphor. As you can see, I can't set this really aside cause there's all this stuff. Um, so I'll be right back by the stove to show you what we'll be doing next. I'm back at Hagrid stove. Um, I have some cocoa powder here. I'm gonna put this in this bowl over a big pot with simmering water. Put in some chocolate chips. And finally some brewed coffee. I have a spatula here. We are just going to mix this until it is very like like turning into like a thin sauce basically. This is smooth and melted, so I took it off the heat. Uh, I have some buttermilk here. Um, I did not store by this. I, it's homemade, but don't say like, well, I made his own buttermilk because it's literally just milk and vinegar. I used some oat milk and mixed it with some vinegar. So I am going to put that in. And I'm gonna put in some vanilla. I'm going to mix this together. So I have a stand mixer here. Um, I have one cup packed brown sugar. Put that in. Oh, that worked perfect for sand castles. Came out perfectly. Now I have some granulated sugar. But this won't come out like the same. Yep. Vegan butter. Now I have some oil. Wee. Now I have the paddle attachment. Put this on. Now I'm just gonna cream this together. So I have some eggs here. I cracked one of my eggs in this bowl. Now I'm just gonna add one by one in addition. Uh, I'm gonna mix this on medium. We're gonna keep it like that, and we're gonna add this egg I cracked into an empty bowl. And, until, and we're just gonna wait until this is combined, and then we'll just do the same thing. Now I'm gonna add about one third of the flour mixture into here, the bowl. I'm just gonna mix this on low speed until it's just incorporated. I'm gonna over mix this. So now I'm gonna add half of the chocolate mixture into my bowl. I'm just gonna mix this until just incorporated. Now I'm just gonna alternate them until all the ingredients are mixed. So the batter's ready, I'm just going to split it in half and put it into two prepared bake pans, uh, then into the oven. So it is day two. As you can see, I have blue glasses. Got them this morning. Let me know in the comments if you like them more than my glass glasses. Okay, so we are going to make the pink icing for Hagrid's cake. First, we have a stand mixer here. Uh, we're gonna put in some powdered sugar. We've got like three and a half cups 
four cups you might need. It, it really depends on the texture of it. So we are just doing this to make a vegan buttercream icing. I have to do the green letters if you ever watch Harry Potter, uh, which is going to be very hard. Just, I'm really scared for doing the letters. I think even maybe my, I'm just gonna make my mom do it because like, I don't know how good I can get it. And I, and I mean, usually it's okay if I mess up for my YouTube, except this is also for my brother's birthday, so I like, really don't wanna mess up. Okay, that was three and a half cups. Now I have one cup of cool butter. Okay, now we're just going to add a couple of pinches of salt. Sorry if my voice sounds all cracked up, folks, because I have the hiccups right now. I really, I really hate the hiccups. So now we're just gonna mix this up until it is all incorporated until really it just looks like icing. <laughs> Oops. Forgot to, forgot to lock it. My icing is basically a dough and people don't think of icing as dough. So I have a teaspoon measure. I have some coconut milk. I am going to put one teaspoon at a time in until it comes into like, the consistency of an icing. I think that's the right consistency. I think this is done. The right consistency, it tastes good. I think I think it's I think we've added enough. As you know, well maybe no. Hagrid's cake, if you haven't watched Harry Potter, uh, is pink with green letters, so this is red, I didn't have pink. But as as you probably know, if you add less of the red, then it will be a pink. Just gonna add a drop at the time. Oof, look at that. Looks more tasty now. I can't believe it. It looks more tasty just because it's pink. Hey, did you know that butter is actually like gray and stuff? It's actually, it's most, usually it's gray. They just make it yellow because they want people to want it. They want people to buy it. The butter's actually gray. Crazy, right? But it's true. So as you can see, uh, I don't know what you can see on camera, but it is pink. Pinky. How can I ice the cake? So I'm an offset spatula here. Have my icing. The cake I made yesterday. Or on the video, like a couple minutes ago. Bam, blood ice in there. Just gonna spread that out. May look at it like a lot, but once you spread it out, it really isn't. I think that's good. I did make this cake once before, not the Harry Potter stuff, just the cake for my neighbor Steve because he wanted um, something for, his, it was his birthday and I made a cake for him. So. I am doing the sides pretty well if I do so, so myself. So it is done. Um, it was, this icing was pretty hard. I, it was really hard getting the sides, but the top, see how it's misspelled? That is totally high grid. Okay, so I'm getting ready. I am lighting the candles for Teddy's Harry Potter cake. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Teddy. Happy birthday to you. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like and subscribe. See you next week. Bye.